Hello and welcome to our technical analysis of 24 August 2016. Let's take a look at the markets on the CM trading platform Euro dollar. Now, as you know from Euro dollar, we're short from yesterday. The market didn't go to the channel top, but it did make a double top here. As you can see, the markets begin to push down now. And we have a now a breakdown of this channel. If we just get rid of this here, and you can see there's this breakdown of this channel here so actually we can now update our chart a little bit and just take it from this point of view and there we go okay so we're on a support line here and below this we'll be expecting a breakdown so we're expecting the euro dollar to go down okay and yesterday was not a bad spot to sell on the double top And as you can see here, we have a triangle and a triangle breakdown. So this will probably fold downwards and we'll probably get a target of around 12, uh, yeah, around 12.30 to be a bit more conservative. Let's make that 12.36 um, and then it might even hit towards 11.80 okay so we might see um, the euro dollar falling down further this week today tomorrow and Friday now remember Yellen is talking um, on Friday so that's going to be interesting uh, and the market might actually get a hint about uh, an increase in interest rates and if that kind of happens and so we might just follow that through here today what you might want to do with the euro dollar is if it does raise its head up i would be shorting it and a good spot to short let's see where that might be on a one hour chart um, is possibly around here okay so around 1.13 um, 13 area would be a nice spot um, I think and I think that's about it really just let's see about that yep 13 13.10 13 is the area to be shorting it so let's take a look at the dollar franc now dollar franc we'll be expecting to go long on that one on the pullback yesterday I did mention we should go long this is the one hour chart let's make this a four hour chart here and as you can see on the four hour chart we had drawn our Fibonacci and the market kind of pulled back this was the red um, a line that I drew here for a you know for a place to spot to buy here as you can see the market just underneath that started buying off so what you want what you might want to do with the dollar franc is just maintain this Fibonacci okay and if the price breaks above there then you've got room to go up towards your Fibonacci targets which are going to be, as you can see up here, it might be a little bit more conservative and just do that. So towards 97 region, we'd be going on that one. Okay, so if the market breaks above that, you can go long. Um, dollar yen, dollar yen also, I did mention maybe it might just pop down to this area here, but it hasn't. Um, instead, what has happened here is the market is in a triangle it's not a bad thing and what we might be doing then accordingly is just a breakout on either side okay so this is the triangle and if the market breaks out above here that's your target level if it breaks beyond that there's room to go up there so let me just move this up a little bit so you guys see this triangle this this red triangle if it breaks down then we have room to come down but personally I think um, it'll probably be in this range until the news come out and then we'll be going upwards in that direction now another thing is let's take a look at New Zealand dollar because New Zealand dollar did a nice double top yesterday the market pulled down if it pulls back up I'd be shorting the New Zealand dollar as well I did note yesterday they might short slightly higher but it never got there so let's do this um, the New Zealand dollar okay that's the area there that I was talking about slightly higher but it never got slightly higher so if it 
let's make this a one hour chart and with the intraday let's see where we might want to sell this off and so anywhere around here 90 um, 7297 73.10 area I think is good to short again here all right New Zealand dollar I think that's definitely a good one to follow Aussie dollar also look at that beautiful breakdown goodbye kiss and pull back again on the four hour chart so anyway if it keeps you know if it does raise its head let's take a look at the one hour chart to see if there can be any if it raises its head um, it's definitely worthwhile shorting as well um, and where to short okay there we go I'm not sure if it'll come all the way up to there 7660 but what I'd be doing is um, shorting the Aussie dollar as it moved towards let's see okay yeah possibly maybe around the 76 20 30 if it does get up there 20 30 that'd be definitely a good move to pull up there okay um, let's take a look at the dollar Zai if it did break out oh yes it did okay dollar Zai did break out yesterday I did mention if it pulls back you should be buying this and it has gone up considerably okay so we had been you know I've been talking about buying this from these levels you know since the beginning of August um, before the price even got here so if you did great it's a little late to buy now but what can you do the opportunity has been there since um, since then let's take a look at the um, Johannesburg stock exchange as well so you can see that's on the rise as well now all right so not to worry if you missed it but if you didn't miss it good because that's like good follow-up this is oil oil has room to come down here if you're an oil trader you can follow that through here okay and gold is still in this triangle here until it breaks this triangle I'm not going to muck around with gold at all because um, it's quite uncertain what was this going to happen with this gold so it's still a sideways market it's in a tightening triangle though um, if you're trading gold it's worthwhile keeping an eye on any breakdown that might happen so that you could really go short on the following um, move I um, hope that helps 24th of August have a great day trading